Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hi, Roberto. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? I'm fine, thanks. Nice to listen to you again. Yes, I miss the class. Yeah, me too. I miss the classes. Hi, Juan Carlos. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm fine, thanks. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Hi, Xiomara. Hi, Victor. Hi. Hi, Xiomara. How are you? I'm fine. I'm very fine. Excellent. And nice. I'm so excited to start a new class. Excellent. I'm excited too. Okay, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, hi, Victor. How are you? Hi, Shane. How are you? How are you, teacher? What's I'm your fine. name? Uh, my name is Dennis. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excellent. And Victor over there. We have Victor. All right. So. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to wait a couple of minutes, okay, so that the others come and so that the others join us, okay? Vamos a esperar un par de minutitos para que los demás se nos unan y luego vamos a dar inicio, sí. okay? Antes de todo, teacher. Yeah. Para que no vaya a pasar lo mismo que ha estado pasando en otras veces. Uh -huh. eh, le soy claro y le voy a hablar. En mi caso, Yo soy eh, principiante, no puedo mucho el hablado, porque uh -huh. casi no puedo, no lo practico mucho en el lugar donde trabajo, por la situación de que me muevo en otra, en unas áreas, cuando tengo la oportunidad lo practico con otras personas. Okay. Eh, estoy aprendiendo y quiero aprender más de ustedes. Eh, ¿Me explico? Sí. Y, uh -huh. y hay otra, otra cosa, teacher, hay, en vez de, hay muchas interrupciones. Eh, en, eh, los, lo, lo, los, los teachers que han entrado anticipadamente antes de usted, como lo que empezamos, nos enseñaron que aquí en participantes hay donde subir la mano y donde bajarla. Para Así que es. si tenemos alguna pregunta, hacerlo y bajarla. Porque Así a veces nos, nos metemos y interrumpimos y, y, y no podemos intelectuar. Es Así mi es. opinión. ¿va? Sí, sí. No. Ok, gracias. Hecho, gracias hecho, uh, sí, no problem. De hecho, esa era una de las normas de convivencia. Todos lo vamos a poner en silencio eh, para evitar cualquier tipo de interrupciones. Y pues cuando quiera participar o cualquier cosa, pues simplemente activa el micrófono y o levanta la mano. Así como hay una opción para hacerlo ahí en el, en el, en el en Zoom. Okay? Así que no problem. Uh, hi, Rosy. Hi, Hugo. Let's see who else is here. Bienvenido, Lily. Hi, Lily. Hi, Rosy. Rosy, right? Hi, Mr. Hugo. Hi, hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Hi Victor. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Hi, Lucy. All right. Hi. Okay, give me a minute. I need to fix something here. Hmm. Okay, so welcome everybody. Um, a nombre de la cooperativa, les doy la bienvenida nuevamente a esos cursos en línea. Okay, muchas gracias por hacer el tiempo. Yo sé que todo el mundo venimos de trabajar, eh, queremos venir a descansar a nuestra casa, pero ya estamos acá. Mi nombre es Denny González. Yo voy a estar a cargo de impartir eh, el módulo 2. Que yo estaré encargado de impartir el módulo 2 para todos ustedes. Y pues estoy muy emocionado. Tengo un par de caras conocidas por acá. 
pero tengo otras no tan conocidas, ¿ok? Así que eh, poco a poco nos vamos a ir, eh, nos vamos a ir conociendo, ¿ok? Como mencionamos antes, vamos a poner todos los micrófonos en silencio para evitar cualquier tipo de interrupciones. Y si usted tiene alguna pregunta, pues activa su micrófono con total confianza y me hace cualquier interrogante que tenga, ¿ok? Eh, aparte de eso, también hay una opción para poner eh, o para, para poder levantar la manita en caso usted tenga alguna duda. Y si por casualidad su micrófono está fallando, pues acuérdese que también puede mandar la pregunta por chat. ¿Ok? Y yo con gusto le atiendo la pregunta que usted tenga. ¿Ok? Así que mi nombre es Denny González. Mucho gusto. Y pues espero que estemos listos para empezar a practicar inglés. ¿Ok? Antes que todo... Eh, ¿Todo el mundo pudo acceder a la plataforma? ¿Hay alguien que no haya podido acceder a la plataforma? Yes. Yo sí pude. Ok, perfecto. Yo pude también, teacher. Yo empecé yes, también. Todavía. Ok, nice. ¿Alguien tuvo problemas con la plataforma? ¿Alguien por ahí? No. Eh, definitivamente intentó, intentó, pero no pudo. Ok. All right. Recuerde que la plataforma eh, es lo que nos, nos, nos motiva okay, a, estar, a estar siguiendo lo más que podamos. Siempre trate de eh, revisar la plataforma antes de venir a la clase para, para que así luego en la clase solo nos quedemos practicando. Okay. De igual manera, eh, al principio de la clase, si usted tiene alguna duda, algo que no, no entendió de la plataforma, pues me puede preguntar con total libertad y acá le encontramos una solución, ¿ok? Igual en el chat, en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp, eh, usted si tiene alguna duda me puede escribir al, eh, por privado y yo con gusto le atiendo cualquier duda que usted tenga, ¿ok? Así que vamos a iniciar. Uh, welcome again. Bienvenidos a todos y vamos a iniciar, ¿ok? Ah, por cierto, okay. se, me, se me había olvidado. Eh, ¿Hay alguien que, que es primera vez que está en esta en esa cuestión en línea? Sí, yo. Ah, Xiomara. Ok, perfecto, Xiomara. Pero ya había estudiado con inglés corporativo antes, me imagino. No, primera no. vez. Ah, ok, perfecto. Eh, ¿Ya puedo entrar a la plataforma de Xiomara? Sí. Ok, perfecto. Igual, acuérdense que tenemos este, una aplicación en el teléfono, así que puede ir haciendo todos los ejercicios eh, desde su teléfono. Si hay alguna parte que no le sale bien la respuesta, pues no se, no se, no se me traume, ¿ok? Hay muchas personas que se, se bloquean y dicen, no, ya no me salió bien, no puedo, no sé. Por veces puede ser un errorcito, un puntito o algo que le hemos agregado ahí a la respuesta. Así que cada vez que tenga una respuesta que usted intentó como unas cinco veces y no le sale, pues me manda un mensaje y yo con gusto le, le trato de, de colaborar, ¿ok? Así que, thank you so much. Vamos a ver, tengo un par de caras acá conocidas. Tengo a Andrea, hi Andrea, Carolina, and Carlos. Hi. Well, welcome back. Ok. Bienvenido. All right. So, vamos a iniciar. Ok. So, to begin, I have um, one... One presentation for you. Ok. Tengo una pequeña presentación que quiero compartir con ustedes. Así que vamos a ver. All right. ¿Todo el mundo puede ver esto sin ningún problema? Yes, English yes. grammar yes, and teacher. verbs of frequency. Okay. Who are they? ¿Quiénes son ellos? ¿Quién me puede ayudar? Mm -hmm. ¿Quiénes son los characters que tenemos aquí? Okay, so the same sounds. Okay, excellent. Uh -huh. The same sound. The same sounds. Okay. Así que vamos a, a usarlos a ellos para... Eh, aprender un par de un par de detalles por acá ¿okay? así que vamos a empezar con una pequeña conversation ok así que 
vamos a escuchar. Yo voy a leer la conversación. Usted ponga atención en las, en las pronunciaciones, ok. Y luego eh, trate de identificar cualquier palabra que usted no conozca, ok. And I will try to help you with that. So, here we go. Hi. How often do you go to the gym? Haha, <laughs> I never go to the gym. I am very busy. What about you? I always go to the gym. I arrive at 4 a.m. and I usually exercise for one hour. What? One hour? I prefer sleeping. I always wake up at 6 a.m. And I often go to work at 6.45 a.m. I hardly ever go to work early. I usually, I usually go to work at 8 a.m. What about dinner? What time do you have dinner? I always have dinner at 6 p.m. after work. What? 6 p.m.? I always have dinner at 8 p.m. Okay? Do you see any new words? Any new word that you may that you may not know that you want to know the meaning? I know that there are some words that are underlined. Hay varias palabras que están subrayadas. No espero que sepa la mayoría de esas porque esa de eso va a tratar la clase de hoy. Okay? Solamente quiero que las identifiquen para que veamos cómo las usamos en contexto. All right? Vamos a ver, ¿qué significa busy? ¿Alguien me puede decir qué significa busy? Ocupado. Ocupado, perfect, ok. Muchas personas dicen busy, pero no, busy no existe, ok. Busy, ok. Busy, igual que una bicicleta, ok. Busy. Uh -huh. Busy, excellent, ok. So, lo voy a leer una vez más y luego le voy a pedir a un par de personas que, lo, que me ayuden a leer, ok. Hi, y luego dice el nombre de la persona, ok. How often do you go to the gym? Haha, <laughs> I never go to the gym. I am very busy. What about you? I always go to the gym. I arrive at 4 a.m. And I usually exercise for one hour. What? One hour? I prefer sleeping. I always wake up at 6 a.m. And I often go to work at 6.45 a.m. I hardly ever go to work early. I usually go to work at 8 a.m. What about dinner? What time do you have dinner? I always have dinner at 6 p.m. after work. What? 6 p.m.? I always have dinner at 8 p.m. Okay? Let's see. Andrea, you are letter A. And okay. I will have... <laughs> Chain letter B, please. Uh, hi. What the names? Chain. Chain. Uh -huh. Chain. Okay, okay. Hi, Chain. How often do you go to the gym? Uh, I never go to the gym. I'm very busy. What about you? I always go to the gym. I arrive at 4 a.m. and usually exercise for one hour. What? One hour? I prefer sleeping. I always wake up at 6 a.m. and I often go to work at 6.45 a.m. I hardly ever go to work early. I usually go to work at Ian. What about dinner? What time do you have dinner? I always have dinner at 6 p.m. after work. What? 6 p.m.? I always have a dinner at 8 p.m. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's repeat this word. Arrive. Okay. Arrive. Arrive. Uh -huh. Arrive. Arrive. Uh -huh. Arrive. Excellent. Okay. Let's see. Roberto, you are letter A. And um, let's see. Lily, you are letter B. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Hi, Lily. How often do you go to the gym? Uh -uh. I never go to the gym. I am very busy. What about you? I always go to the gym. I arrive at 4 a.m. and I usually exercise for one hour. What? One hour? I prefer sleeping. I always wake up at 6 a.m. and I often go to the work at 6.45 a.m. I hardly ever go to work early. I usually go to work at 8 a.m. What about dinner? What time do you have a dinner? I always have, have dinner at 6 p.m. after work. What? 6 p.m. I always have dinner at 8 p.m. Excellent. Thank you. Nice. Okay. And the last ones, let's see. Uh, Xiomara, you are letter A. And let's see, Hector, you are letter B. Hi, Hector. How often do you go to the gym? Uh, I never. What about you? I always go to the gym. I arrive at 4 a.m. and I usually exercise for one hour. What? One hour? I prefer sleeping. I always at what, what at, at 6 a.m. and I often go to work at 6.45 a.m. I hardly ever go to work early. I usually go to work at 8 a.m. What about dinner? What time do you have dinner? I always have dinner at 6 p.m. after work. What? 6 p.m.? I always have dinner at 8 p.m. Nice. Excellent. Okay. Perfect. You have a really nice pronunciation. So that's nice. Okay. Excellent. So... Um, today we're going to use these words, the, word, the words that are underlined. We're going to use them, okay? And they are called frequency adverbs, okay? Or adverbs or frequency, okay? So, there are two ways in which we can express a routine that we do, okay? For example, you can say take a shower, uh, brush my teeth, have breakfast, go to work, okay? Those are some activities that you do every day, okay, every day. For example, in the case of this girl, she says, I read a book every day, okay? Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, okay? Every day, okay? Every day. So what is another word that I can use for every day? Another word that I can use is always okay always and if you see it is after the, uh, the 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 subject okay i and then you say the the frequency adverb okay i always read book uh, sorry i always read a book or you can say i read a book every day okay every day can someone tell me an activity that you do every day or always, okay, you can use always or every day. For example, eating. excuse me, one more time. Eating. Eating, okay, but what is the complete sentence? Uh -huh. I eating every day in my lunch. Ah, okay, much. okay, I always have lunch. Uh -huh. I always have lunch, uh -huh. perfect. Another example. Take a shower. Okay, the complete sentence. I I always take a shower. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. I always take a shower. Or you can say, I take a shower every day. Okay? We okay. have two options. Uh -huh. We have two options. Another example? Brush my teeth every day. Ah, I brush my teeth every day. Or you can say, I always brush my teeth. Mm -hmm. Another example? Uh, 
something that you do every day or that you always I, do? I, I always read in the Holy Power. Excuse me? Uh, holy, uh -huh. read a uh, uh, Holy Power. What is that? Uh, I holy, I, I always read in the Holy Power. No? What is the last word? La última palabra? The Holy Bible. Ah, the Holy Bible. Uh -huh. Okay. The Holy Bible. Okay. I always read the Holy Bible. Mm -hmm. Perfect. There are some people that read the newspaper every day, you know. Uh, I don't know. My father reads, my father always reads the book, the, the newspaper. Okay, you know, la prensa gráfica, el diario. Yeah, he reads that every day. Okay, every day. Okay, the last example. Mm -hmm. The last example. I always get up at 6 p.m. Okay. A.M. Okay, I always a. get up at 6 a.m. Okay, thank you, Yader. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So, every day and always. Okay, they are synonyms. I always. Uh -huh. I always. Uh, watching TV um, 5 a.m. Ah, okay. I always watch TV. Five a.m. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. Five a.m. Perfect. Okay. In this case, we don't have to use uh, ing. Okay. No tenemos que usar el ing. Lo vamos a mantener de manera normal. Okay. Usando el simple present. Okay. Vamos a hacer I, I read a book. I take a shower. I watch TV. Okay. De cualquiera de las dos maneras. All right. Let's go with the next one. If you see in this case, she says, I play the saxophone five times a week, okay? This is not, okay, this is not every day because on Mondays, no, okay? On Sundays, no, okay? It is five times a week. It is not every day, okay? In the week, we have seven days. But in this case, we have five times, five times or five days, okay? Aquí no, no son exactamente todos, sino que hay un par de días que no, que no lo hacemos, okay? Entonces, en este caso vamos a usar usually, okay? Repeat, usually. Usually. Usually, okay. Uh -huh. usually, okay? Es para alguna actividad que usted hace casi todos los días. Obviamente hay unos días que no lo hace, quizás porque no, no va al trabajo o lo que sea. Por ejemplo, I usually go to work, ¿ok? Pero los domingos no voy a trabajar, así que no puedo decir always, ¿ok? Así y si dijera, I usually watch TV. Ok, I usually watch TV, ¿ok? Eso significa que no lo hace todos los días, right Pero la mayoría de veces lo hace. Uh -huh. That's perfect. Uh -huh. Now, tell me, what do you usually do? Uh -huh. I usually drive to my job. Ah, excellent. I usually drive to my job. Uh -huh. Another example? I usually study English. Ah, excellent. I usually study English. Uh -huh. Another one? I usually drive the car. Okay, I usually drive the car. Perfect. Uh -huh. Another example? I, I usually stay in the class. Ah, I usually stay in the class. Excellent. The last example? I usually watch TV series. Ah, I usually watch TV series. Okay, excellent. Okay, excellent. Remember, always is every day. Usually is like I usually uh, play soccer. Okay, I usually play soccer. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So that is how we say, or that is how we use usually. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go with the next one. Twice a week. Twice a week. If you see, 
Um, in this case, we have the same girl. Uh, she rides her bicycle, okay? And if you see, she does this on Thursday and Saturday, okay? Twice. Twice means two times, okay? Twice significa dos veces. Two times, okay? Usted puede decir two, two times o puede decir twice, okay? Puede decir cualquiera de las dos. So, en este caso es menos frecuente. Antes era todos los días, luego cinco días a la semana. Ahora son únicamente dos, okay? So, twice a week. In this case, we're going to use often, okay? Often. Algo que quiero recalcar de esto es que yo sé que lleva la letra T acá, pero eso es para cuestiones de escritura. Para pronunciation is often, okay? No lleva la, no, no, no decimos la letra T, okay? Often. Así que repitamos, often. 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 Olvidémonos, often. olvidémonos de la letra T ahí, okay? Often. 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 Okay, what do you often do? In my case, I often watch TV. <laughs> I often watch TV. I don't do that every day. Mm -hmm. I often watch the soccer game. Ah, okay. I often watch soccer games. Uh -huh. I often ride my car. Okay, I often drive my car. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I often work out. Ah, I often work out. Okay, nice. I often listen to music. Excellent. I often listen to music. I often go to the church. Ah, okay. I often go to the church. Okay. Yeah, you don't go every day. <laughs> okay. You don't go every day. Uh -huh. The last example. I often do homework. I often do homework. Okay, nice. Excellent. Okay. So, what was the first one? Every day? Always. 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 Uh huh. The next one? Usually. 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 And this one? Usually. Often. 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 Excellent. Often. Juan Carlos, tell me. Eh, aquí hay una muchacha que está en el chat. No sé quién es, teacher. Que dice que no le han mandado el link. Pido, perdo, pido permiso para poder solo mandar. Sí, sí, no hay problema. Ajá, no, no hay problema. Ok, ok. Ajá. Thank you. Yep. No problem. Uh -huh. All right. Ok. Let's see. Let's continue. Ok. Now, I play basketball once a week. Once significa one time. Ok. Una vez. Uh -huh. Once. Dos veces era. Twice, okay? Twice. Now it is once, okay? Once. Si se fijan, teníamos actividades que hacíamos todos los días, luego solo cinco, luego lo reducimos a dos, ahora solamente uno. In this case, we're going to say sometimes, okay? Sometimes, okay? I sometimes play basketball. I sometimes, uh, I sometimes visit my best friend, okay? I sometimes visit my best friend. What about you? I sometimes eat uh, rapid food. Ah, okay. I sometimes eat fast food, uh -huh. fast food. Mm -hmm. I sometimes go to the movie theater. Okay, nice. I sometimes go to the movie theater. I sometimes drink chocolate. Excellent. Uh -huh. Another example. I sometimes visit my mother. Ah, not all the time. Okay, uh -huh. excellent. I sometimes take a, a, shower. Take a shower when <laughs> the climate is cold. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> You sometimes take a shower when the weather is cold. Uh -huh. When the weather is cold. Okay. Another example. Sometimes. I sometimes eat pupusas. Ah, I sometimes eat pupusas. Okay. I eat pupusas every day. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I always eat pupusas. 
in the Asunto morning. Ay, and I... Asunto ay is eh, eh, caramelo, eh, 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 candy. Ah, okay. I sometimes eat candy. Mm -hmm. I sometimes eat candy. Okay, excellent. The next one. I go to the cinema once a month. Okay. Si se fijan en el caso anterior, eran cuatro veces al mes, okay, o una vez a la semana. In this case, es más limitado once a month, una vez en el mes, okay. O solo lo hace una vez al mes o una vez al año probablemente. Okay. In this case, it will be rarely. Okay. Repeat, rarely. 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 Mm -hmm. rarely. Okay. Nice. What about you? In my case, I rarely, I rarely go to San Salvador. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you? I rarely go to swim. Okay. I rarely go to swim. Uh -huh. I rarely drink a beer. Ah, okay. I rarely drink a beer. Uh huh. Excellent. I rarely run. I rarely run. Uh huh. Nice. Rarely. I I rarely do exercise. Ah, I rarely do exercise. Uh huh. I rarely. I rarely I give. Okay, Javier, tell me. I rarely sleep eight I hours. I rarely visit my grandmother. Okay, I rarely visit my grandmother. I rarely uh, sleep eight hours. Uh -huh. Alguien más me dijo algo por ahí, pero no lo que escuchar. I rarely buy a gift. Ah, okay. I rarely buy a gift. Uh -huh. Perfect. Okay. Entonces ahí vamos bajando desde always hasta rarely. Okay. Rarely. Okay, the next one. I don't drink alcohol. Okay. No lo hace ningún día. Ni por cerca, una vez al año, okay? In this case, it will be never, okay? Never. I never drink alcohol, okay? In my case, I never, uh -huh. I, I never, I never drink Coca Cola. Ah, okay. I never drink Coke, uh huh. Uh huh. In my case, I never, I never eat fish. I don't like fish. Oops. I never eat fish, <laughs> okay? I don't like fish. What about you? What is something that you never do? Uh-huh, never. I never, never eat. eat. <laughs> okay, together, <laughs> yes, uh-huh. I never eat rabbit. Ah, I, you never eat rabbit, you don't like it. What about salpicón? Salpicón is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see another person. Uh, I never eat beef. Ah, okay. I never visit China. I never visit China. Okay. Yeah. Right now it's dangerous. <laughs> okay. Another one. I never. Algo que nunca hace. Ni siquiera una vez I al año. Never... Uh -huh. Yes, Hector, sorry. Uh -huh. Berenjena en inglés. Eh, Brit food. No, Brit, Brit root. You can call it Brit. 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 Uh -huh. Brit. Uh -huh. Okay, I never. It's Brit. 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 Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. A berenjena is eggplant. Estaba pensando en remolacha. Remolacha is bread. Uh -huh. Berenjena is eggplant. Uh -huh. I never eat eggplant. <laughs> okay, I never eat uh, eggplant, yeah. In my case, I never eat re este bread or remolacha, okay? I don't like it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't like that. I never eat pacaya. Yeah, that's disgusting, yeah. Not even for Semana Santa. I don't like that. <laughs> okay. 
I never take a shower on Monday. Really? No. <laughs> Why? I, I, no, never, no. I never eat uh, beer. You never drink beer? Yes. Ah, okay. Nice. Good for you. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Okay. So, um, we're going to see all the different words that we were that we were learning. Okay. So we have always, usually, often, sometimes, readily. A synonym of readily is hardly ever. Okay. Hardly ever. They are synonyms. Okay. And never. So always is when you do it all the time. Okay. All the time. Usually it's a little bit less. Often it's like in the middle, okay, in the center. Sometimes it's a little bit less. Rarely it's just a little bit, okay. And never is zero, okay, zero, okay. So any questions so far? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No. No? Okay. Often, often, sería often. Often, ajá, uh -huh. often. Uh -huh. no, 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 no se dice la letra T ahí, sino que often. Uh -huh. Often, pero ¿cómo lo podríamos usar? Decimos de. A veces. A veces. A veces. Uh -huh. A veces. Uh -huh. Qué gracia. Ok, no problem. Uh -huh. Esto siempre, creo que en inglés es mejor manejarlo. Eh, por porcentajes o por el número de veces que lo hace. Porque eso siempre, por eso traducir este often and sometimes, casi como que se parece. Entonces, uh -huh. o, no, o no tenemos una medida en exactamente, una medida para, para determinar en español cuánto es sometimes y cuánto es often, sino que se maneja más que todo como porcentajes o de, de acuerdo a la frecuencia que usted lo hace. Pero ya a la hora de una conversación, digamos, no es tanta la diferencia entre often y sometimes. Sino que más que todo, la, que tan a menudo lo haga, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. All right. Okay. So, también eh, teníamos algunas frases, ¿ok? Once, twice, three times, four times, five times. ¿Qué significaba once? Una, una vez. Una vez. Ajá. Una vez. Puede decir usted one time, pero lo mejor es decir once. Ok. Once. Luego twice. Dijimos que era two times, pero lo mejor es decir twice. Twice. Ya, del, ya del, tres en arri del tres para arriba ya no tenemos ninguna palabra así que se puede usar. Ok. Esto únicamente lo hacemos para one time y two times. Ok. Once. And twice, okay? Once and twice. All right. Here tenemos. Okay, once, una vez, twice, two veces, three times, four times, five times, twenty times, okay, etc. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I will show you uh, one sentence. And you're going to tell me which is the correct, um, the correct frequency adverb, okay? Vamos a hacerlo individualmente. Le voy a preguntar a cualquier persona que me diga cuál de estas es la mejor para volver a escribir esta, esta oración usando los frequency adverbs, okay? Vamos a hacer el primero todos juntos. I ride my bike twice a week. Ah, dos veces a la semana. Entonces, often. Ok, podría ser often. Vamos a ver. Ride yes. my bike. Uh -huh. a week. Ok, I often ride my bike. Ok. Acuérdense que ese twice a week lo estamos convirtiendo a un frequency adverb. Ok. Porque ya decir dos veces en la semana es, es un poco más específico. Pero también puedo ser un frequency adverb. Puedo decir often. Ok. Often. Usually. No, en ese caso sería often. Ajá. Uh -huh. Esa sería la respuesta correcta. Cuando está correcto, automáticamente se va a mover para acá. Okay. Si no está correcto, nos va a decir no. Nos va a decir la, la, la computadora por aquí. All right. Okay, let's do number two. Mm -hmm. Quiero ver, I'm going to ask. 
Um, Xiomara, I walk my dog every day. Uh -huh. Always. Okay. Correct. Okay, correct. I always walk my dog. Okay. I always walk my dog. All right. Let's see the next one. Um, Carolina, I play the saxophone five times a week. Sometimes. Sometimes. Usually. No. Usually. No. Usually. Uh -huh. Usually. Okay. Five times. Usually. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Son cinco veces. Cinco veces de siete. Entonces sería okay. casi siempre. Casi. casi. Uh -huh. All right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's see. I go to the cinema once a month. Let's see. I'm going to ask Victor. Uh -huh, Victor. I go to the cinema once a month. Once a month. Once a month. Let's see. Victor. Victor. I... I really go to the cinema. I readily, excellent. Okay, excellent. I readily go to the cinema. I readily. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. The next one. I don't drink alcohol. Let's see. I don't drink alcohol. Rosie, what do you think? I I drink always. <laughs> Okay. I never. <laughs> I never drink I never. alcohol. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Let's see. Next one. I play basketball once a week. Once a week. Let's see. Shane, what do you think? Shane. I play basketball once a week. Uh, I usually play basketball. I usually play basketball. No. Usually it's like for more time. This is only once a week. Uh -huh. Sometimes. Sometimes. Some, sometimes. You see? Mm -hmm. Yes. Correct. Sometimes play basketball. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I sometimes play basketball. Okay. Excellent. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Okay, so that's how we use adverbs of frequency. Okay, adverbs of frequency. So let me share another exercise with you. Give me a second. All right, here we go. Okay, so. When we want to make sentences using the adverbs of frequency, okay, we're going to follow this pattern. Vamos a seguir este, este, esta secuencia, okay? Subject. Luego del subject, vamos a usar el frequency adverb. Luego vamos a usar el verbo. Y luego el complement, okay? El complement. So, en el caso de que hablamos de nosotros, está muy fácil porque únicamente digo I always, I usually, I never, ¿ok? Ya todos me estuvieron dando muchos ejemplos de eso, ¿ok? Pero también me interesa que nos acordemos de las reglas que tenemos para he, he, and it, ¿all right? For example, she rarely has breakfast, ¿ok? ¿Por qué cambio has acá? ¿Alguien me puede explicar? Porque el verbo es have. Entonces, ¿por qué le puse has? Porque es tercera persona. Ah, Exacto. porque es tercera persona. Excellent. Ok. Cuando estamos usando he, she, or it, tengo que agregar la letra S. O en el caso de have, tengo que decir has. Ok. So, think about a family member. One family member in your house. Ok. And tell me one sentence using always or usually or often 
or sometimes, okay? For example, in my case, my mother um, often cooks a dinner, okay? My mother often cooks dinner. What about you? Can you tell me something about your family member? Yes, one example, using frequency adders in using a family member. Mm -hmm. My my daughter always go to the school. My daughter? Oh, usually. Ah, usually. No, uh -huh. Sometimes. Okay, sometimes, my daughter, sometimes, uh-huh. No, so cinco veces al día, cuatro veces al cinco, sometimes. Ah, uh, pongámosle usually. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My daughter usually... Usually go to the school. Go or goes? Uh -huh. Goes. Uh-huh. Goes to school, okay, to perfect. School. Okay, I'm using usually, and I'm using goes, okay. Another example. My brother always plays in his computer every night. Ah, excellent. My brother always plays in his computer every night okay excellent actually it's on his computer mm -hmm. okay my 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 wife he usually watch tv okay my my uh my wife usually watch or watches watch watch tv okay watches uh-huh watches watches, watches. uh-huh watches. watches tv tv Okay, perfect. Another example? My son sometimes does the cleaning. Ah, my son sometimes does, does the cleaning. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. My son always play soccer, play game. Soccer, soccer games. Soccer game. Okay. Okay. My son always plays soccer games. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. And the last example, the last one. My mother every day goes to the gym. Okay, give me a second. My mother. Every day. Uh -huh. Goes to the gym. Okay, in this case, when we have the, the phrase every day, it is a time expression. So the time expressions go at the end, okay? They usually okay. go at the end, uh-huh. Yeah, every, every, every day you said, right? Okay. Every day. Yeah, we're going to see some examples about every day in a few seconds, okay? In a few seconds, but... I want you to use usually, sometimes, always, okay? That's perfect, okay? Nice, nice, okay? So, do you have any questions so far? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? Si se fijan, va siempre después del sujeto, okay? Siempre, siempre después del sujeto. Mm -hmm. Okay, any questions? No? All right. Ahora vamos a ver eh, un frequency adverb que es un poco más especial, ¿ok? Vamos a ver cómo se usa sometimes en tres posiciones diferentes, ¿ok? Porque esta sería una excepción a esta regla de que siempre va después de, del sujeto. Sometimes puede estar en tres posiciones, ¿ok? Siempre puede estar al inicio de la oración. Puede estar 
after the subject, así después del sujeto, como en el caso que estén, como en el caso que estoy viendo, o también puede estar al final, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, en mi caso, sometimes I go to the museum. Okay. I can also say I sometimes go to the museum. Or I can say I go to the museum sometimes. Okay. Sometimes es el único con el que puedo hacer esto. Okay. Es el único con el que puedo ponerlo al principio, después del sujeto, o si yo quiero hasta el final. Ok, pero es el único con el que va a pasar esto. Ya en el caso de always, usually, often, uh, never, en el caso de ellos, únicamente pueden ir después del verbo, perdón, después del, del sujeto. Ok, en el caso de sometimes, tengo tres posiciones para eso. Ok, así que, now you tell me, uh, some sentences using sometimes. Ok, quiero que me digan oraciones únicamente usando sometimes. Y usted decide en, en cuál de las tres posiciones la va a poner. ¿Okay? Sometimes I go to the cinema. Ok, perfect. Sometimes I go to the cinema. Uh -huh. Another person. I sometimes go to the park. Okay, I sometimes go to the park. Excellent. Uh -huh. I ride a uh, bike sometimes. I ride a bike sometimes. Excellent. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Another example using sometimes. Sometimes I I drink a coffee. Okay, sometimes I drink a coffee. Mm -hmm. Mari I some... Excuse me? Mar in English? Mar in English? Mar. O playa. Ah, beach. Uh -huh. Beach. Uh -huh. O sea, I sometimes go to the beach. Ah, I sometimes go to the beach. Uh -huh. bien? Yeah, perfect. Uh -huh. okay. Perfect. I sometimes read a book. I sometimes read a book. Uh -huh. Excellent. The last example, el último ejemplo. I buy electronic gadgets. I sometimes go to the church. Okay, I sometimes go to the church. I buy an electronic device or electronic gadget sometimes. You said, you said right? Uh -huh. All right, perfect. Okay. So remember, when we have always, usually, often, readily, okay, they are after the subject. But sometimes we have three different positions for that word, okay? So, vamos a detener hasta acá. Y luego mañana seguimos con ese tema, okay? Porque nos falta eh, ver un par de detallitos más por acá, okay? So, thank you so much, everybody. Muchas gracias por hacer el tiempo de estar en esta clase, ¿ok? Se aprecio mucho de que yo sé que todo el mundo estamos cansados, ya queremos ir a dormir, pero acuérdese que es un esfuerzo extra que va a valer la pena eh, para que usted practique y que este, pueda aprender más inglés, ¿ok? So, thank you so much, everybody. Have a good night. And see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you. Good night, teachers. Good night. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, Lucy. 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 Bye,